Hey everyone, today we're going to be showing you a secret trick to find that perfect hotel in Google Maps. Yes, in Google Maps, we'll be showing you on your phone as well as on your computer. You're going to find a great deal as well as the perfect location. And hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Explorer. And we bring you videos on travel, exploring and discovery. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. All right, so today we're gonna to be helping you find the perfect hotel price and location in Google Maps. And you might be saying, Google Maps? I thought that was for directions. Well, yes it is, but you can actually find and book hotels through it as well. So we're gonna show you how to do that. If you don't have Google Maps, you can download it for free from your app store as well. You could do it on your computer, maps.google.com. Just punch that in on your computer and we'll show you the phone first and then we'll dive over to the computer and help you out there. So let's jump on my phone, get right into this and show you how to find that perfect hotel. All right, so once you've got Google Maps installed on your phone, you can go ahead and open that up. And we're gonna do a search today for Houston, Texas and say we wanna stay at the Hobby Airport, which is one of the two airports in Houston. And we wanna stay in a hotel there. So we're gonna do a search here. We're gonna start searching Houston hobby and here's the important part is to type hotels after if you type hotels after and hit the search button all of a sudden it's going to search for that area and start bringing up all sorts of hotels in that area now let's just let it finish that search here i'm going to just swipe down so that information disappears you can see the william p hobby airport in houston and all of a sudden prices start to pop up now we need to select a date as well. You can see there's a drop down here at the top. If I click on that, let's say we wanna stay in May from the 26th to May the 29th. We'll click that. And all of a sudden the prices are gonna update for that time. It's really handy for knowing um, what good prices are for that date. When I zoom in a little bit here and start to look at the prices a little bit closer, you can see all of the other stuff as well. So you can see the roads and say we're looking for something. Oh, there's the Waffle House. Maybe we want a hotel that's near the Waffle House. So this Comfort Suites Hobby Airport is quite near the Waffle House. I can actually, this is kind of interesting. I can actually drop a pin. So if I hold my finger there on the green line, it drops that red pointer and I can click on this little um, window here in the bottom left and it's actually going to show me a street view as well of the area so I can look at the street view I can see if that's an area and a hotel that might I might want to stay at so I can hit the back button and if that looks good for you then you can actually go ahead and click on the price so if I click on the price it's going to come up with a picture of the hotel down below there at $90 and I can click on that picture so now I've got my perfect hotel location near the Waffle House and I can start looking at the pricing here so I can actually scroll through pictures of the hotel here at the top oh a nice pool which is perfect and then we can scroll down and actually start to look at who is selling that hotel at that price so if I click on more prices from $90 I can see I can book that with a Expedia, booking.com, all sorts of people here, hotels.com, and it shows me the price. You can see it in the fine print there, $106 with taxes and fees. And if that's the perfect hotel I do want to book, I can just go ahead and select which one, who I want to book it with. So let's say in this case, I want to book it with booking.com. I would just click on their, their um, button there, and it's going to take me right to booking.com where I can complete that booking. So once that shows up, it's gonna have Houston and the dates. And I'll just confirm that this is exactly um, what you were looking for at this point because you, it did move you over to the booking.com website. But you can see the pricing comes up and for myself, I have it set to Canadian dollars right now, but the pricing comes up for that hotel for those dates. And it's that simple actually to find the perfect hotels on your app. Now let's jump over to my computer and show you how to do it on there as well. All right, so I've got Google Maps loaded up on my computer. You can find it at maps.google.com. 
and we're in Los Angeles here on the map and we're gonna just say hey let's find a hotel near Disneyland in the perfect location so I'm gonna just do a Disneyland hotel search here Disneyland hotels make sure you punch in hotels at the end in actually in um, Google Maps on here there is a hotels button as well that you could push but I like to just punch in hotels at the end and all the hotels are gonna start popping up again and up in the top right hand corner just as we did on the app you can select the dates so let's say we want to do June 23rd to the 25th and you can even select the number of guests we're just gonna select two guests for this time and you can see the Disney Park is right there and you want to find that perfect location so let's zoom in in this area and let's see what's here oh there's a pf chang's and a cheesecake factory that might be a great place to stay in this area there's a starbucks right here let's check out this hotel so 282 dollars a night if i hover over it it's the hyatt house that looks like an amazing hotel to stay at for our our holiday so now maybe we want to make sure that is the perfect location that we're not scared to stay there um, that it's a good area so in the bottom right hand corner you're going to see this little man and if I left click and actually hold it down, I can drag that man over and drop him on the any of these blue lines here. So which are the street view. If you've seen the Google cars driving around, taking pictures, this is the street view. I just let him go and drop him on there. And I can see that the area comes up. It looks like a really nice area with palm trees. And let's have a look here. You can even zoom in a little bit. There's the Starbucks, the Hyatt House. This looks like a great place to stay. Um, good location. We know that the Cheesecake Factory and the PF Chang's is down the street. It's going to be the perfect vacation. So I'm going to just hit back here in the top corner. So we go back to the map and we're going to just hover again over the price. And there's an option here that says check availability. So if I click on that, you can actually see the Google reviews and it says free Wi-Fi and free breakfast as well. So if I cl click on that, it's going to start bringing up the pricing just as we saw before so you can see the pricing for Expedia um, booking.com hotels.com and they're all gonna come up there let's say this time we want to book it with Expedia.ca I'm gonna just click visit site and that's gonna pop up here on my screen and we can just go ahead and book that right away again just confirm make sure that the dates are exactly what you need them to be and the first one here again is the Hyatt house um, there are some other hotels that come up but um, yeah if I go back to this other screen here you can do a little bit more searching and um, the cool thing is you can drop that little guy all over here and walk down the streets and just see what the whole area looks like so it's a great way to find that perfect hotel at the perfect price using Google Maps so I hope this tutorial helped you out in finding that perfect hotel location and price using Google Maps. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking Explorer because I've got tons of videos coming up that I'd love to share with you. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.